How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well, I'm on Spectacle Island where obviously I've got another large build. A couple of weeks ago, in a comment to one of my videos, someone mentioned the Overlook Hotel from the movie The Shining. And I got thinking about it and I decided, well, why not build the Overlook Hotel? So that's what I did. I'll take you around the outside here and show you what it looks like from out here. And while I'm doing that, I wanted to take this opportunity to mention that Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, marked the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel, Turkey Buzzard Gaming. Now, although I don't have a ton of subscribers, I do have some. And I wanted to thank everyone who subscribes to my channel watches my videos, hits the like button. You know, this really means a lot to me that people enjoy watching my videos and supporting my channel. So thanks again to everyone who subscribes, watches, and hits the like button. Anyway, back to what I was saying about the Overlook Hotel. Now obviously I couldn't duplicate the hotel because the place is huge and I don't think any gaming system could handle that type of build. But I did try to do my best to do my version of the Overlook Hotel and although I didn't duplicate it I did want to try to get the feel of the place. Meet Jack Torrance or at least my version of Jack Torrance. Now in the movie it starts out with Jack coming to the Overlook Hotel to interview for the position of caretaker. Now as we go into the lobby you'll probably notice two things right off the bat. One is the fact that I pretty much duplicated the lobby itself. The other thing you'll probably notice is that there aren't any people here. I decided not to have anybody here because this hotel is supposed to be closed for the season. However, in the movie, when he comes here, there is a lady at this desk and she told him that he could find the general manager in his office and it's down here on the left, first door on the left. So Jack goes down here to the general manager's office. And of course, when he walks in, there's a secretary's office there and then the general manager's office. The general manager's name was Stuart Allman. So Jack comes into Allman's office and of course this is where he interviews for the job and it's also where they kept the shortwave radios so that they could radio for help during the winter if they needed to. But anyways Jack has his interview with Allman Allman tells him about the hotel, even tells him about the weird killings and stuff. And then he hires Jack as the caretaker. So Jack comes out to the lobby and he calls Wendy on this telephone and tells her that they'll be spending the winter at the Overlook Hotel. So let's take a look at this place. As I said, I pretty much duplicated the lobby. The the pillars are a little different, you know, I couldn't duplicate them, but they didn't come out too bad. Now there was also an elevator here in the movie, so I put that in. And they didn't show this area in the movie. So I decided that I would add like a lounge area here. And also I added a ladies room. I figured they'd need bathrooms on the first floor so I put them in and of course a nice hotel like this would have really nice bathrooms. So that didn't come out too bad. And 
and if you watch the movie when you look at the lobby itself you'll notice that it does look almost the same as what I've got set up here the hardest part in this area was the stairways they were very tricky to build now in the movie this area here has French doors and behind the French doors I'm not sure it looks like it could be dining rooms but I decided not to do that I put another lounge area down here and I added men's room and again they're all the same you know I think it come out pretty nice you know although this area is slightly different uh, in the movie it doesn't really show you what's back here so I decided to go with uh, pretty much the same thing as the other end but anyways uh, let's check out the rest of the hotel now when they show the hallways in the movie there's pillars down through there so I made sure to add those in and when Almond takes Jack on a tour through the through the hotel uh, he introduces Wendy to Dick Halloran and Dick Halloran shows Wendy and Danny the huge kitchen area so you know he pretty much shows them around and you know tells tells Wendy that don't be uh, intimidated by the kitchen you don't even have to use it but he also shows them the walk-in freezer and this freezer is also where Wendy drags Jack after she knocks him out with the baseball bat she locks him in this freezer now those meats were tad bit tricky to get up there on the shelves they kept wanting to move around even though I made them static objects but a lot of this stuff is do-it-yourself but some quite a bit of it is stuff that I stacked but I don't think it came out too bad you know it, give, it gives the, the same feeling as the walk-in freezer from the movie but I think this area come out pretty nice now since I didn't uh, put the dining area up near the lobby I decided to put it in here so this is the dining room the big main dining room here which come out pretty nice Now this area here is where Jack did all of his uh, typing working on his book or whatever it was he was working on all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy and of course he was playing ball up against that fire fireplace or whatever and this stairway was where Wendy hit Jack with the baseball bat and knocked him out and of course once she did that she dragged him down and stuck him in the freezer and locked him in there and you'll also notice the big axe on the wall the axe is what Jack used to kill Dick Halloran when he showed up later in the movie now in the movie they had what they called the gold ballroom well we don't have any gold materials in Fallout 4 so I went with what I could and I put it you know everything in here I wouldn't drink the wine it's poisoned and 
in case you're wondering where I got poisoned wine that comes from the Boylston Club which is down by uh, Swan's Pond and although there's not supposed to be any booze here there was definitely plenty of booze here when Jack came in later in the movie so I don't think that came out too bad considering the fact that I couldn't make it a gold ballroom so that's pretty much the downstairs area Now we'll come over here and we'll go up this set of stairs and you can get a better look at what uh, they look like. As I said, very tricky to uh, make this stairway, but I had fun with it. I also added more lounge areas up here. And also down on this end, uh, you know, by the elevators, I would imagine they would have lounge areas. They didn't show in the movie what was in these areas of the hotel. So, you know, I had to kind of decide for myself and put whatever I felt was uh, right there. Now, I didn't have the same type of pattern rugs, but... Uh, you know, pattern rugs really gave the place a feel. And of course, this is where Danny wore, rode his big wheel down through these long hallways. Now, I'm not going to show you all these rooms because, you know, it get really repetitive. And they're all pretty much the same. But uh, I will show you one room. And this is the room they had a lot of significance in the movie which was room 237 and this is the room where as Wendy said the crazy lady attacked Danny so of course Jack had to come up here to room 237 and see what was up here now that says Jack Torrance's bed I don't know why it would say Jack Torrance's bed. What do you think? You think maybe he did find a, a lady up here and uh, got frisky with her? And of course, there was the bathroom area. Let's hope there's not a naked lady in this tub. No, this is where there was a dead person, a dead lady. And I could have added a naked lady but I decided since I run pretty much a G-rated channel here uh, I would not put in the naked lady at this time but anyways that's room 237 and of course that's where Jack came and found the, the naked lady in the tub and uh, got freaked out by that and of course another fireplace up here right above the other one but I really like how this came out you know as I said it's not exact with the movie but walking down through here you can get the feeling of how it felt to be in the halls of, of uh, the Overlook Hotel now I haven't decided yet and maybe you guys could help me decide uh, I'm kind of half considering doing this place up and making it look like it did after 
thing started going crazy with all the crazy people and the naked lady and the whacked out people and the dead bodies and all that and uh, you know I'd really like to hear some comments from everybody letting me know if you would like to see me do that because uh, I would you know I would uh, like to do another version of this you know the crazy version with the dead people and the crazy people so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that I also wanted to do the edge maze which of course would be out here but uh, since this is already huge and started kind of making my game lag a little bit messing with the uh, frame rate I decided not to do that right now I may add it later who knows but anyways that's the build so far let me know what you think and I want to thank you for watching and I will see you again next week